Hey, welcome back to Plasma Channel. My name is Jay, and recently I went to beautiful Austin, Texas. I actually used to live there for five or six years. But while I was there, I met up with some old friends of mine. You see, I told them I had a problem with my iPhone, and they told me they had just the solution. So let's speed on over to Austin, Texas, and check out what we did. So a while back, I shot an episode pitting up my Tesla coil against my iPhone. And despite the 250,000 volts, it survived, which was annoying. So I'm here with Architect today, and they're gonna help to vaporize my phone using just a little bit more firepower. Architect is an incredible performance group that I met a few years ago. They use giant audio modulated Tesla coils and 15 foot sparks to produce music. They know how to have fun and they are engineering geniuses. So they're actually pretty cool. This is John and Joe from Architect and I'm gonna let them tell you a little bit about themselves uh, and, and what exactly they do. So we have a uh, traveling science show and the main focus of our science show are these devices behind me called Tesla coils and we've engineered them in such a way that they play music uh, using the lightning. And we take them all over the world to educate people using science and rock music. He's also got cool hair too. A little bit. So uh, do you guys think you can help me out here? Maybe take care of what my little 250,000 volt Tesla coil couldn't handle? So yeah, I think we could take it up a notch. So we have a uh, 15 kilowatt power supply on the other side of the room that's powering this machine. And that's the thing right behind the couch, right? Yeah. yeah. And we have some computer control to change the parameters and uh, we'll see uh, if we can come up with enough power to destroy the phone. And if not, we have a couple other ideas, so. You have a bigger coil? We have a bigger coil and we have some other high power devices. You know what that means. So in the end, we will succeed one way or another. I have a hammer too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if it comes easier. down to it. Uh, we can do Hulk smash. I, I've wanted to do that literally all... every day I've had this iPhone 6. We can all just jump up and down on it if nothing else works. <laughs> to space it. Yeah. Here you go. Well, good. All right. Let's get to it. Thanks. We're going to use their giant Tesla coils to pump 1 million volts through this phone. So which will win the battle, the iPhone or the Tesla coil? Pause the video now and comment down below. I want to see your opinions. Let's get straight to it in three, two, one. And the iPhone captured its own death. We, uh, we killed it, thank God, because I wanted this thing to die for probably three years now. So as you can see, phone's not turning on, nothing's happening, screen actually went dead, and uh, hopefully you saw a little bit of the live stream we've included in there now from a Facebook live stream. We recorded head-on sparks, uh, so that was pretty cool. But uh, we might have broken it physically, now we're gonna break its spirit. Architect also has a can crusher. So what you're seeing is a couple winds of wire wrapped around the phone, and we're going to end up pulsing thousands of amps through that coil and see what happens to the metal casing on that phone. The metal box is to protect us in case it blows up. Three, two, one. Instantly there was smoke pouring out of the box, so we figured we had split that phone in half, but not quite yet. Oh, that's not as epic as I was hoping. So here you can see the results of the first can crush, so to speak. Screen, completely shattered. The back and the chassis of the phone is compressed, big dent in the back, and you can see on the edges, it's pressed in. But we wanted to vaporize the thing, so that requires current. Something that an arc welder has no problem with. After a few seconds, it melted the frame of the phone and found its way to the lithium ion battery, as evidenced by the flames shooting out the backside. And it's good to know we had glasses on just in case the phone had some last minute tricks. Man, this thing is hot. Jason, that's gonna pull your warranty. Well, 
have to get it fixed, I guess. I wonder if my Apple Care warranty will help me with this one. The corner is completely vaporized off, the screen crushed, the frame caved in, and uh, you know, the screen's kind of got this three dimensions to it now. You know, it's like a multi layered screen. Um, yep, so that's the last time I'm going to use that thing, oh, thankfully. A big thanks to John and Joe at Architect, they helped make this all possible. And they didn't even use their biggest coil. The biggest one's two or three times this size. But if you'd like to see some real sparks and some people that know just a little bit more about Tesla coils than me, okay, they know a lot more about Tesla coils than me, go check out their YouTube channel, Architect. I'll put a link in the description down below. And also at the end of the video, there will be a clickable link to go check out their awesome videos. They make way bigger sparks than I do. Thanks for stopping by, and don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to Plasma Channel. Check us out on other social media, and feel free to check out our various other episodes. With science every two weeks, you stay classy.